In this video, I'm going to be going through the first steps of construction of my Dutch tool chest. So first off, I'll be doing the dovetails for the bottom corners of the case. Uh, the dovetails uh, basically will ensure that the bottom doesn't fall out of the tool chest when you pick it up and it's fully loaded with tools. So it's an important part of the step. So let's get started. Okay, so right here I am laying out the baseline for the dovetails on both boards. And marking the tailboard. Now I'm sawing out the tails. You'll notice I connected both boards together so that I could saw them in one operation. So here I'm just using a coping saw to uh, cut out the waste between the tails. Full disclosure, um, I hate coping saws. So since I'm kind of new to dovetails, I figured I'd do it sort of the you know standard way and use a coping saw to cut out most of the waste between the tails. But there is another way to do it, which I don't do in this video, but forevermore I will use the other method. So the other way just uses a chisel, um, no, no coping saw whatsoever. Um, and Paul Sellers really recommends that other way and I've used it a few times since making this tool chest and it is far superior in my opinion. But mainly that's just because I hate coping saws. So watch me use my most hated tool right now. So here's the other half of getting the waste out with the coping saw. Uh, here I have the boards laid out um, and I'm using a chisel to take out half the waste and then I'll flip both boards over and chop out the other half of the waste. And this is basically the stuff that the coping saw didn't get because it's a very rough tool. The other way of doing this that I now like much better is to basically just start like this. So don't use the coping saw at all, just turn the boards on their sides and then uh, chop out the waste with a chisel. Works a lot better, in my opinion.
And here I'm using the tailboard to lay out the pens on the pen board. Now let's saw out the pins. Uh, notice that since the uh, saw cuts are angled, I can't do both pin boards at the same time. So I have to do each individually. So I had some camera problems and I didn't get the footage of actually chopping the waste out, but I used the other better method that doesn't use a coping saw. So this is just a picture of that method. And like I said before, it's you just basically lay the board down uh, flat. You don't use the coping saw at all. And then you just basically chop down with your chisel, chop a straight line down from the baseline and then make kind of a V-shaped cut through the waste and eventually it's almost like chopping down a tree eventually that waste just kind of uh, um, falls out and it makes a really clean joint inside the the pen or the tail now the dovetails are basically done and I'm doing a little bit of fine-tuning to the joints just to make them fit better So here's a shot of the dovetails assembled. Uh, they worked out pretty well. I think they look decent. Um, you'll notice that the tails are a little bit proud of the pen board, and that's intentional. Um, after I assemble the case, I'll plane those down so they're flush with the, with the rest of the case.